Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we got up to this weird outpost looking area. Now, we're going to be continuing through. Hopefully finding... <sighs> Zelda. Got a new item over here. An amber relic. These amber... Colored chunks of precious stone are found everywhere. No one knows where their strange shape comes from. Oh, I do. Also, that's not the first one we've gotten. Crap. That was. This item can be mostly found here, but uh, it can actually be found pretty much everywhere. Like it said. In my opinion, these are the littered literally across the entire map things. They're used in almost everything, but they are incredibly common. Nunchuck, why? I don't think we've had an episode yet of this new rekindled series that hasn't been plagued by the Nunchuck. Come on, catch one, finally. The worst part is when the, um... The, uh, bug net goes through the wall to get them. It doesn't count. Alright. The nunchuck almost gave... Gave me quite a spill again. Almost made me fall in that crater. Alrighty, we have another area of the cobblins or whatever they're called. Come on, fall. Thank you. You somehow didn't hear that? And now, ow. Apparently, I'm falling this time. I'm technically fighting two battles right now. I'm fighting the battle with my nunchuck, and I'm fighting the battle with these monsters. I'm hoping I can slide okay, given the weird sensitivity of the nunchuck and whatever. Also, it's really awkward. Um, if you get one hiccup in your movement up this, uh, terrain, you just can't save it, which is a little weird. And that was my nunchuck again, doing an extra movement that I didn't want to do. And again. I wish the nunchuck wasn't primary movement when my nunchuck breaks. Because then it's not useful at all. Alright. At least you did me a service and fell. So what you can do here... Is when they release the boulder... You can get your beetle out. That's not what I intended to do, but hey. All right. How far can I reach? Not far enough, but okay. Well, I've never had that happen before. Just a lot of never happened before is happening in this one, primarily because of my nunchuck. 
<sighs> Alright, let's try that again. Once more with feeling. Couldn't have gotten the rock thrower with the rock. Pelting me with rocks. Rock pelter. Crap. Con freaking nunchuck. That was way more difficult than that needed to be. <laughs> Almost dead now. I don't have a fairy neither, so I'm probably gonna get a game over if I'm not careful. Mm, I'm sure they're buried around it here someplace, but I can't find it. Yo, lad, this is the place, ain't it? So what's it they buried again? A key! K-E-Y! A key! Busted that, up that key to the door and hid the pieces all over the place. I'm telling you, one of the three pieces is buried right around here. Huh. Hey, that reminds me, that strange blonde girl in the weird clothes got taken away too. That's right, I bet they got something really valuable stashed there. That blonde girl they took is probably part of their master plan, too. I'm telling you, I can smell the riches from here. So what are you saying we do once we find all the pieces to the key? <laughs> what are you thinking, genius? And Igneous? We sneak inside and take all the treasure we can carry. Hey, why are we so worried about a key when we can just dig our way in? But, uh... Just saying. Yeah, ain't as dumb as you look! <sighs> just pause for a minute. I know. I know. It's okay. I know. Must be. Woman in black. Woman in black? The probability of your assessment being correct is 10%. Round it up. I conclude that you're stupid. Additionally, I don't want to work for you anymore. Detected objects of the same material in the surrounding area. Ascertaining the location of these objects will in our search for Zelda. I have registered them as dowsing targets. <laughs> ah, crap. There's also those things in the dirt, which is a little odd. And definitely difficult if you have, well, two hearts. Because they can latch onto you and do about a heart of damage and then catch you on fire, which does more damage. So essentially, the piece of the key, as you've seen right there, 
are scattered around in dig spots. This entire area can be very, very difficult to find these if you did not have uh, the dowsing ability. Reason being, um, of course, not really knowing where these things are, them being in dig spots. I remember having a lot of time trouble and time lost over this. However, I pretty much know where they are without needing to douse, so... I think we're okay there. And if I'm not mistaken, I think you can actually uh, put bombs in the wind. Could be wrong. I don't quite remember. Ow. Not like it matters anyway, it blew up in my face. Yes, V, I know. Hmm. Huh. A lot of this area is gonna be just bombs. Throwing arcs of bombs. Ow. And there we have the cube! Believe it or not, it actually took me an unreasonably long amount of time to try to figure that out back when I uh, first played the game. Alright. First things first, we need to find a chair. Well, actually, I need to save it. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. It's a good thing they can't see through metal bars. Alright, so you got a summoner with you. Alright. Well, time for that guy to get an expressway out. Couldn't see where I threw it, but hopefully it was correct. Because my nunchuck is now deciding to go forward instead of backward. <sighs> okay. I'm starting to get that weird feel of lag on my controls again. I'm not sure what's causing that. Oh, I did hit it! Well, that's surprising. Thought I missed. Alright, there's no chairs there. What about up here? Tell me there's no chairs here either. Eh, crud. Well, I'm in a tricky predicament. Let's, uh, careen this off the edge and kill that guy. Or not. Here we go. Dig this up. There's another piece. Alright. 
Weird flower. If it is a flower, look more like a pinwheel. Alrighty. So that is one thing we are finished with right now. Now let's go to the other side. This is when things start getting a little tricky. I may have to douse because it's been a while. But I'd like to try to get as many as I possibly can first. Q Firebirds! Oh, that's not good. Leave me alone. Okay. None of them had a heart. That's sad. Alright. Now we have to be... Leroynk. Alright. There goes my check again. Come on. There we go. Don't kill me, Nunchuck. I'm really gonna have to look towards either getting a, a new Nunchuck or finding one of, um... The other ones, because this is getting uh, to be a bit annoying. Breaks up gameplay a little bit. It has been funny, but um, it has been really damaging progress. worst part is is when the nunchuck messes up and say this part where it requires to be good about energy consumption and uh, yeah <laughs> The longer you spend, as well, grabbing hold of something, the more energy you lose, as well, so it's good to hurry. Alright, we step on this button. Quick way out is now available. Got more creatures that I cannot get because of the level of our um, bug knight is not good enough. It has to be level 2 in order to get any bugs. Probably at all. I remember getting really frustrated trying to get any of these bugs before. Ah, boiling hot! I'm on fire! Yeah, let me just take a sip of water real quick.
Yeah, we're not gonna survive. Just checking all avenues of transportation. And dying in the process, because I feel like I'm gonna die. I died. Oh wow, I still had a fairy. Alright. So there's a couple destinations you could go. Unfortunately, I can't... I'm gonna be struggling in this part, I can tell. <sighs> the Wiimote doesn't want to move like I want it to. In all regards, I did end up going to the place that I needed to go, which is funny. And I messed it up. At least it brings me back here. Yes, yes, I know it's right there. Don't need to freak out on me, Fee. Darn it, messed up the timing again. Because Link is for some reason looking straight down, I can't see across. That's not helping. Alrighty. As soon as the other one blows up, I'm gonna have to jump. I thought I missed. Apparently not. Thank God. Now, there is a goddess cube on this path, and there is a heart container. Or not heart container, a heart piece. However... Because of the way my Wiimote has been lately, I might end up saving those for later, because this is determinant on the nunchuck moving a certain way, or the rather the Wiimote, and I haven't really gotten that down pat yet, so to save everyone's time for right now, I think I'm just gonna avoid doing that until I myself get that settled out, because, um, I don't want to waste so much time fiddling with the controls and not actually progress, because, I mean, in the last episode, it was mostly just fiddling with controls, so I'd like to try to stay from that as far as possible. Speaking of, I'm dealing with a weird sense of lag on my controls, which is weird. Like, the input gets inputted, like, it doesn't input immediately after I press the button, only like a second after, and it's been really bothering me. Break that skull. I don't know if you guys can even notice it, but yeah, right there. That was, um, lag on that control. I, like, barely moved the nunchuck, and it just inputted, like, 50 times. Nothing I can do except work around it. I don't think that's gonna work. Oops. There we go. And now we have another rolly puzzle. I'm gonna try to get all the pieces of that gate in this episode. So that we can start off the next episode just going into the dungeon. Last one! Last and... Yeah. 
Oops. Alright, carefully is a dandelion. Just curious, where is it? Up there somewhere. I remember there's a trick in here somewhere. I'm not feeling particularly risky, is I don't want to die before getting that thing. Alright, there's a couple of bombs. Let's blow that up first. I remember taking a path and that path specifically with the wind and thinking, oh, I'm done now. And then that path ends up being where you have to go or something like that. Man, the lag is really hurting me with these bombs. Like, you hear me pick them up, but it's like a half a second or a second before it actually gets picked up. So I can't move. Then, Yep. Back here. Very important to do this. Because it is a safe way to go to the sky. And get a save. Trust me, you need that. Back to where we were going. Which is up. Uh, controller. I've never had this happen in all of my years playing the Wii, so I don't know if it's, like... Alright, where am I going? Somewhere. I'm gonna die if I don't get out of there. Alright. I'm leaning to the right game. And of course it was back there somewhere. I don't see any place to get hearts, really. Actually, doesn't this area have the chair? I may have to run all back over and check. Also, I'm probably gonna have to end the episode anyway. Because I just realized I've gotten up to 30 minutes now and that's too much time. So, on the next episode, we'll be getting the last key. I'll probably be cutting to when I get there and then talking about how to get it because I've... Wasted quite a bit of time, and I just want to hurry. 
and get this done and get into the dungeon and all that. So I'll see you guys then.